Welcome to the Uncomplicating Weight Loss Podcast. My name is Eva Rodriguez, proud Latina, single mom, and certified integrative nutrition, health, weight loss, and mindfulness coach. I'm passionate about teaching women how to balance being busy and healthy without complicated rules or restrictions. On this podcast, I'll be simplifying weight loss concepts and mindset shifts so that you can be confident in your curves. It won't always be easy, but it doesn't have to be complicated. Before we dive in, this episode is brought to you by my brand new weight loss webinar called The Three Secrets to Lose Your Last 15 Pounds for the Last Time. To kick off 2022, I'm hosting a free webinar to set my fellow busy boss women up for success in the new year. In this webinar, you will learn simple and effective nutrition strategies that will dramatically cut down on the time it takes you to lose weight so that you can stop overeating and start losing weight. The single most effective exercise to reshape your body and why you must know this right out the gate if you want fast results. And the major mindset shift that you must learn and adopt in order to lose weight for good. The webinars will be taking place on Tuesday, January 11th, Wednesday, January 12th, Thursday, January 13th, and Saturday, January 15th. To register and pick your preferred date, just go to eva.fit or click the link in the show notes. I'll see you there. Happy New Year, my dear friends. I'm so excited for 2022, and I hope you are as well. I'm still recovering, so my voice is still not at 100%, but I'm here for you, and I wanted the first episode of the new year to be about, well, that thing that everyone's talking about the first week of the new year, right? Resolutions, your goals, intention setting, whatever it is that you call it. We're going to focus in on a really cool method today that's going to help you reach those goals that you set for yourself. I actually prefer setting goals and intentions and really focusing on the actions that I need to take to reach them and to manifest them and all of that versus writing out a list of resolutions. So I'm going to share this method with you that you can use to approach your goal setting and you can use it for any goal, obviously. But I'm going to focus in on how to make this work for your weight loss goals. I personally have some major goals that I want to achieve this year. So I'm I'm just so excited to start a new chapter in my life. Last year was a very interesting year for me. It was a year of growth and healing. And um, I actually started out 2021 in a really low place emotionally. I think I talked about it in my mental health episode, but it was a really dark time for me. And I actually didn't start 2021 with any goals or intentions because I was in such a bad headspace. All I could do was write down focus words. So I chose three focus words for the year for 2021, and they were grounded, graceful, and grateful. And that was all I could do. That's how sad I was. I really couldn't, I couldn't even really look far enough ahead because of the dark clouds that were surrounding me at that time. And when I just look back at at that time in my life, it's just incredible to me just how far I've come in 12 months, you know? And I was doing some self-reflection work around New Year's Eve and looking back at how I started the year And all the things that I experienced and all the lessons that I learned and also all the accomplishments, despite really struggling some days and really questioning everything about myself. For example, I almost didn't launch this podcast because I kept doubting myself and because my previous podcast didn't take off the way I'd hoped that it would back in 2020. And um, I was actually going to launch this podcast in March of 2021. And I kept putting it off and I kept doubting and I kept procrastinating and I didn't launch till June of 2021. And I just happened to look at my stats on New Year's Eve. And this podcast has received 10,000 downloads in six months. And I consistently rank in the top fitness charts and I have listeners all over the world, including Denmark and Australia and the Dominican Republic and 
I get DMs from people that I would have never met thanking me for helping me on their journey. And I am so grateful for each and every one of you. And to think that I almost didn't launch. I almost gave up on this. I almost let my past failures, my first podcast show that flopped, my insecurities around whether I could reach the right people, my insecurities about myself, I almost let that stop me because I was scared, because I was depressed, because I was alone, because I was tired of failing, because I was tired of being sad, because I was tired of being disappointed. I almost didn't launch. And I'm sharing this because whenever you decide to do something epic, to do something you've never done before, to do something that you have done before, but you've failed at, to do something that you've tried before, but gave up along the way, whether it's your business, your passion, or your weight loss, you can either choose to feel the fear, acknowledge it, and keep pressing on, or you can give up. And if you give up, You'll never know what could have been. Maybe you played it safe, but you'll also probably have regrets because you chose to fail ahead of time. You never know where your failures might lead you, but choosing failure ahead of time is guaranteed to lead you nowhere. This will just have you repeating the life that you already have by believing your excuses which then give you evidence for why you can't make progress. If I would have just said, oh, well, my first podcast was a failure. I'm not cut out for this. Nobody cares about what I have to say. I'm only getting 50 downloads per week. The weight loss industry is too saturated. I don't have hundreds and thousands of followers. Then I wouldn't be celebrating my 10,000 downloads in six months. I wouldn't be recording episode 39. In fact, I stopped my last podcast at episode 40. And that took me an entire year to record 40 episodes. It wasn't that I was a failure. It was that I needed to refine and narrow down my messaging and my audience. I needed to tweak some things. And you might be thinking, what does this have to do with you and your weight loss journey? Everything. First. I'm just so fucking grateful for you. Yes, you, for tuning in every week and listening and subscribing and sharing and reviewing. Because I went from having 20 downloads per week a year and a half ago to 1,000 downloads per week. And that might not be a big deal to like the big podcasters of the world, but it's a huge deal for me. And that is thanks to you. And also, Because these are the same kinds of things that I hear women say about why they've given up on themselves, why they've given up on their weight loss journey, on their weight loss goals. They say, I'm not cut out for this. It's just too hard. I've never been able to keep the weight off. I've never been able to stick to anything. I don't know how to exercise. I don't feel comfortable at the gym. I don't know what to eat. I don't know what my goal weight should be. I have so much weight to lose, it's going to take forever. So while I don't necessarily do the New Year's resolution thing, I do have some epic goals that I plan on crushing this year. My focus is on health, wealth, and love. I am actually prioritizing love for the first time in a long time. And in order to reach those goals, In order for you to reach your goals, you have to train your brain to see yourself being successful. It's way deeper than writing down a list of things that you want as if it were a wish list. We're not doing wishful thinking here. We're going for success and results this year. So here's the method. It's called the four circle method, and it's from a book called Time Warrior by Stephen Chandler. You should check it out if you haven't read it. This is something that you're going to do every day. So I recommend making this part of your daily journaling and just habit stacking it that way. So you're not adding an additional thing right to your to-do list. 
So you're going to draw four big circles on a piece of paper. In the top left circle, you're going to write your one-year goal. So since I'm going to focus on weight loss, write down what your goal weight will be by December 31st. Or if you wanted to make this a little bit more constrained, say, for example, you want to lose weight for your summer vacation or a wedding you're going to or whatever date you choose, right? That can be the goal that you put in that first left-hand circle. In the top right circle, you're going to write your monthly goal. So for example, if you want to lose four pounds per month, you're going to write that there. So that's going to be your monthly goal. In the bottom left circle, you're going to write your weekly goal of how many pounds you want to lose this week. Realistically, you can safely lose one to two pounds per week. Anything more than two pounds per week, I would not recommend. It's going to do more harm than good. It's not healthy and it's not sustainable. And then in the bottom right circle, you're going to write your daily goal. Now, because your weight will fluctuate every day and throughout the day, this is where you're going to focus on your daily actions, not a number. This is where you're going to write down, if I do these things today, I'll probably lose one or two pounds this week. These are your action steps. These are the actions you're going to commit to doing today, no matter what happens. I'm going to get these things done today. So that can be drinking enough water, working out, eating until you're satisfied, staying on your food plan, taking a walk, meditating, going to bed on time, whatever actions you're committed to doing today that will get you to your ultimate result. That is what you're going to write in this circle. And you're going to do this exercise every day. Make sure your actions are realistic. It's not what I should be doing or what the girl on Instagram is doing. It's what you are realistically going to do today. Remember, everything is a decision. Are you making a decision or delaying a decision that you're not willing to make? You can decide that you're going to overeat today or you can decide to honor your fullness cues and get closer to your weight loss goal. You can decide to skip the gym or you can decide that you'd rather push through it and deal with the soreness and deal with the discomfort because you're committed to losing weight. It's your decision. It's always your decision. And the reason why the circles are important is because they show you exactly what you need to do in order to become the person that finally loses the weight that you've been wanting to lose. Here are the things that I'm willing to do today to become the person to lose 15 pounds by April or whatever your goal is. And every day, that daily circle could either change or it could stay the same because your daily action circle might look different on a Saturday if you're going out for dinner and drinks compared to Monday morning, right? All you need to do is be realistic with yourself and show yourself that you can carry out your plan. You will start seeing results when you start committing to those daily action steps. You'll realize these small steps add up and the results will come. I promise you. The faster you see that who you are today and the actions you take today are just as important as who you're going to be when you reach your goal, your future self, the faster you will lose weight. This is where you start to build evidence that you can do this, that you can commit. You know the saying, act as if? Well, I want you to start acting like the woman who's already lost the extra weight. What does she do? How does she think? How does she feel? How does she dress? How does she act? How does she treat people? How does she treat herself? This is how you learn how to do what you say you will do. This is a skill that a lot of people don't have, actually. That's why inconsistency is one of the biggest deterrents in weight loss. Inconsistency is really just the inability to honor your commitment. That's all. So start acting like that woman who's already arrived at her goal. Believe it, feel it, live it. That's going to make a huge difference, especially on the days 
when you don't feel like it. So do this practice every day so that your brain starts to make the connection that today's actions are just as important as next month's actions, six months from now, a year from now. This will train your brain to connect that today's actions will get you where you want to go, will get you to your goal, instead of letting yourself think today doesn't matter, or the rest of today doesn't matter, or I already ate three cookies, I might as well finish them, I'll just start over tomorrow, or I'll start again on Monday, or I'll start again on the first of the month. Don't do that. The small wins add up, but so do the small sabotages. They add up against you. And lastly, if your goal is to lose weight, do it because you want to. Do it because it'll feel good, because you want to feel healthy, because you want to enjoy eating healthy foods, because you want to enjoy exercising. Not because someone else told you to. Not because you hate yourself and not because you think you'll be a better person or more lovable when you do lose the weight. Do it for you because you deserve a happy, healthy life. And that is my New Year's wish for you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thanks so much for tuning in this week and trusting that none of this has to be complicated. At the end of the day, I want you to feel empowered to know that you can have the health, the body, and the life that you desire. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode and tag me on Instagram while listening at It's Eva Rodriguez so that I can support you along your journey. I'll talk to you next week. Bye.